All right, and welcome to this year's 31 Days of Horror Challenge. I'm super excited. Thank you so much. I'm gonna get right to it. Day one was Wolf Creek, y'all. Oof, such a good movie. Highly recommend. And day two was Fulci's The Black Cat. You gotta love those Italian horror films. Uh, yeah, this one was a fun one to do. These eyebrows, y'all. Woo! These eyebrows. <laughs> uh, I highly recommend Fulci's films. This was The Living Dead at Manchester Morgue, otherwise known as Zombie 3, another Italian horror film. And if you liked Bubba Hotep, you're gonna love Bingo Hell. Uh, it was a fun ride. It's on Amazon Prime right now, I believe. Candy Cane Joyride was next. Uh, this was a fun little piece in watercolor and marker. And a classic, you gotta have the Blair Witch. I love how this came out. Such a good film, still to this day. Still to this day unnerving. Mm. These eyes. All right, everybody was talking about it. I had to see it for myself. The 100 Candles Game. Uh, I wasn't too impressed, but this story in the anthology was creepy. <laughs> Another classic, we've got Night of the Living Dead in black and white. Girl's face is iconic. And this was a movie from the 80s called Don't Go Into the Woods and it was so much fun. And I had to do this scene of the artist getting killed, of course. <laughs> I highly recommend that one. It's really fun, very gory. I love the VHS series, and this is the new one, VHS 94, and it is so good. I was so satisfied with this one, um, and love this image as well. This one was another one I enjoyed. This is called Vicious Fun. It is also on, I believe it's on Prime uh, or Shutter. I'm not sure. It might be on both, but it's a fun one too. And this is The Terror. Um, I think it's early 80s, might, might be late 70s, but about a witch who gets burned and she curses uh, the town. One of my favorites, y'all, is The Platform. It is on Netflix, I believe, and it is so brilliant. The way it goes into themes of politics and um, social commentary, it's, it's brilliant. You Gotta Love High Tension, such a creepy, unnerving film. And uh, this scene in particular is so iconic as well. This one came out good. This is an old movie called Encounters with the Unknown. And it has Rod Sterling hosting, and he is from Twilight Zone, and it is hilarious. Uh, with his voiceovers, questioning everything that needs to be questioned, and questioning it again. <laughs> This is from Anything for Jackson, and that movie is, whoo, it's a ride as well. It is nightmare fuel, as they say. Uh, some good scenes in that. And then we've got Rest Stop uh, with uh, Joey Lawrence. You could watch him um, act and get killed. It's, it's a good one. It's a good one. And then we have Cameron's Closet. This is a fun 80s ride as well. I highly enjoy, enjoyed this one. And it also made me laugh out loud, this scene in particular. <laughs> uh, yeah, so if you like those campy horror films, there you go. Phantasm 2. Uh, you gotta love the ball. You gotta love the ball. Uh, that was just such a fun scene with the blood shooting out. I had to do it. <laughs> Boy, one of my favorite horror anthologies, y'all, Southbound. If you have not seen this, I highly recommend it. It is brilliantly woven together, and the stories are really good and unique. Uh, I love horror anthologies, so I highly suggest it. It's called Southbound. This is an awesome movie called Here Comes Hell, and it's done in the style of... Um, you know, classic black and white films, but it feels like Evil Dead. So it's like if Evil Dead and House on Haunted Hill had a baby. <laughs> uh, it's a fun ride as well, and if you love those throwbacks, I highly suggest you check it out. Um, it is really good.
Of course, I had to do the Phantom Carriage again from the Criterion Collection. Uh, such a beautiful story and a beautiful film. It's a silent film. Uh, I highly suggest you check that out as well. It's actually on YouTube. This year, I really wanted to do one of the classics uh, from, you know, the Universal Monsters. So I had to do the Wolfman, but I did the recent Wolfman. Really happy with how it came out. This one is another Italian horror film called Deep Red, and it is really creepy and good. Uh, a lot of people have said it's their favorite Italian horror. Um, I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's definitely good. Haxon. Every year I carve pumpkins and watch Haxon and I had to do a piece this year. Uh, it's also on YouTube. Check it out. It's a, I think it's in the Criterion Collection, but uh, it's the story of witches and folklore and the devil. Wanted to do a fun one to break it up. We got Young Frankenstein, Werewolf, Their Wolf, Their Castle. This is a fun one. Uh, you gotta love Mel Brooks movies. And then I did Rocky Horror Picture Show this year. You gotta love Eddie. Eddie's my favorite. <laughs> and of course I have to do a Jason. You know I have to do a Friday the 13th. This is part five, which is a hilarious Friday the 13th one. Check it out. And that's the end of this book. We got to move on to the other one. Uh, these books, you know, they hold 30, but they don't hold, they don't hold all of them. I had to do The Shining on Devil's Night. Uh, I didn't realize how much that actress went through until one of my friends was telling me about it. And whoo, look that up, y'all. It is intense. And then the last day I had to do Creep Show 2. Thanks for the ride, lady. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, that's one of my favorite stories in uh, Creep Show too. Uh, check it out if you haven't. It's a classic. And until next year, keep watching. If you enjoyed these, by all means, please subscribe, like, and share. I will see you next year. And if you have any requests, let me know. And uh, I'll see if I can fit them in for next year's challenge.